Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating concept of quantum immortality. Imagine a reality where death is not the end. When you die in one universe, another version of your consciousness persists in a different universe. This suggests that from your own point of view, you never truly die. The only way to experience any emotion is to be alive. This leads us to a broader understanding, which doesn't necessarily require multiple universes, a generalized anthropic principle. Consider a scenario where you die and are then resurrected by an artificial superintelligence 10 million years later. This entity, in its quest to create as many different things as possible, manages to recreate every human that ever lived and every version of Earth. From your point of view, it would feel as if you had been reincarnated with no gap in temporal perception. Once again, you are always alive from your own perspective. The likelihood of such an event depends on various factors. The probability of low entropy points forming in our universe, the potential for species to become technologically advanced to the point where their technology seems like magic. The existence of multiple universes, or even the possibility that our universe is just a simulation within a much larger one. Quantum immortality is a concept drawn from the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In one universe you might have turned left, and in another you turned right. But how does this lead to immortality? Let's take a closer look. In the realm of quantum physics, particles can exist in multiple states at once, a phenomenon called superposition. When you observe these particles, they choose a state. Now apply this to a life or death situation involving you. Say there's a 50-50 chance you could die in an accident. According to quantum immortality, in some universes you die. But in others, you survive. Here's the twist. You will always find yourself in the universe where you survive. Hence, from your perspective, you never truly die. Quantum immortality remains a theoretical concept. Not everyone agrees with it, and it raises many philosophical and ethical questions. One big question is, could our consciousness really jump between parallel universes? If so, does this mean we are immortal in some sense? Or is it merely a trick of perception? The answers aren't clear. Before you start making any reckless decisions, remember, it's just a theory. There's no scientific proof to back it up, and it certainly doesn't mean you should test it. Could quantum mechanics hold the key to eternal youth? Firstly, let's consider the concept of aging from a quantum perspective. Aging is a biological process driven by the gradual degradation of cellular structures and functions. But what if, in some parallel universes, the mechanisms that cause aging were somehow avoided or reversed? According to the many worlds interpretation, every possible outcome exists in some branch of the universe. So, theoretically, there could be a version of you that never ages. Imagine in one universe, your cells develop a natural resistance to aging. In another, scientific advancements provide you with treatments that halt or even reverse the aging process. As we discussed earlier, quantum immortality suggests that you would always find yourself in the universe where you survive. However, it's crucial to understand that this remains a speculative thought experiment. The principles of quantum mechanics do not directly address biological processes like aging. Could there be a universe where you remain forever young? Perhaps. But now, let's tackle a more pragmatic question. When will we be able to live forever? And more importantly, is it even worth it? In five billion years, our sun will expand into a red giant engulfing the inner planets. Earth will be no more than a charred relic. If humanity manages to escape this cosmic event, where do we go next? Perhaps we settle on another planet within our solar system, but even then we're merely delaying the inevitable. As the sun eventually becomes a white dwarf, our new home would either be too close, risking incineration or too far, drifting aimlessly in the cold vacuum of space. And what if we managed to escape the sun's gravitational pull entirely? We would float through interstellar space, possibly for billions of years before finding another habitable world. But the universe itself isn't a static entity. It could undergo a big crunch, collapsing into a singularity, or continue expanding, growing colder and darker as stars burn out and galaxies drift apart. Even if we had the technology to hop from planet to planet, each new star we settle near will eventually meet its demise, whether through supernovae or other cosmic events. Now let's entertain the idea of a new universe forming. It took nearly 11 billion years for Earth to emerge after the Big Bang. 
If we find ourselves in a new universe, we'd be starting from scratch, floating through space for eons, facing the same existential challenges all over again. So ask yourself, does this sound like fun? Is quantum immortality real? Are we all immortal? According to some interpretations, yes, it could be real. You experience this phenomenon daily. When you're bored, time seems to crawl because more of your brain activity is focused on your consciousness centers. Conversely, when you're asleep, your level of consciousness is extremely low and our time appears to pass in an instant. But what happens when you die? If your level of consciousness drops to zero, time would theoretically pass infinitely fast for you. This means you could traverse billions, trillions or even quadrillions of years in an instant. At any given moment, there is a minuscule chance that you might be recreated purely by chance a fluctuation in the entropy of the universe. If you were to exist again in the future after your death, your consciousness would jump to that moment as you would be passing time infinitely fast. But what if you never exist again? The universe, faced with this impossibility, might sustain your consciousness indefinitely to prevent you from experiencing infinite time forever. It's like plotting x equals zero on a graph. The y values keep increasing, but the x values remain unchanged. This theory suggests that even without a multiverse, the universe itself could ensure your continued existence, making you, in a sense, immortal. According to Everett's Many Worlds interpretation of quantum physics, every time one of two things can happen, they actually both happen, but in alternate, parallel, branching timelines. This means that history forks off countless times per second. Every time a particle moves or its state changes in some way, the consequence is that even events with really low odds will happen in at least one timeline. Quantum immortality postulates that at the moment of your death, some fluke event could happen that prolongs your life. This means it will happen in at least one history or parallel universe. Since you would die in all other universes, your consciousness would only continue to exist in the forked universes where you survive. If true, this means that subjectively we will all eventually experience becoming the oldest person in the universe. A thought experiment was proposed to explore this idea further. It involves repeated suicide attempts by the experimenter. One version of this thought experiment involves pointing an automatic weapon triggered by a radioactive source at the experimenter's head. Every second, the radioactive source may or may not decay. If it does, then the gun fires and the experimenter is dead. If it doesn't, then the gun simply clicks an empty round and the experimenter survives, much like Schrodinger's cat. Subjectively, the experimenter's consciousness will never experience the bang because it will cease to exist by the time the sound reaches it. It will only experience a series of clicks because it will only survive in those histories where the source didn't decay. The downside of this experiment is that for every experimenter who survives 10 clicks, there will be countless histories in which their brains get blown across the room. Any spectators in almost all universes will therefore witness the experimenter's death and won't be swayed by the results in any way. Is it morally acceptable to test such a theory, knowing that it involves the potential for countless deaths in alternate realities? Furthermore, what does it say about the value of life if our consciousness simply shifts to another universe upon death? Does this diminish the significance of our actions and decisions in this universe? Philosophically, quantum immortality challenges our understanding of identity and existence. If our consciousness can hop between parallel universes, are we truly the same person? Or do we become a different version of ourselves with each transition? And what about the universes where we do not survive? Do those versions of us cease to matter? While quantum immortality remains a theoretical concept, it forces us to confront these difficult questions and reconsider what it means to live, die and exist.